What up, all gamers? So welcome to World Annexation Part 46 Aftermath Part. Now, um, if you miss a stream, I'll leave a link below. An hour-long stream, of course. And um, as everyone can see, it does look bad. It really does look bad. Um, but I can assure you, if you watch the full stream, again, link below, it turns out good at the end. Halfway through basically and uh, Moldova is also eliminated it's been over two months since I eliminated a nation in world annexation but I finally did it and um, instead of heading north towards Warsaw I'm heading west as everyone that was a part of the stream basically said to uh, go west so that's what I'm doing right now heading west for uh, Italy and Germany and see how things go on from there and um, also, Portugal has also kicked me out. I had a non-aggression pact with them, but they betrayed me and just kicked me out from their uh, from their country. Excuse me. And um, my navy, my navy, everyone knows that my navy was all over Portugal. So now I send my navy towards um, former Morocco and also towards the UK. I have no repairs in the UK, so these. Uh, naval units are stuck They can't do anything, but again um, Watch the stream and see what happens for yourself It really is good and it's one of the best streams ever that I've ever streamed on Twitch and The audio wasn't working again in-game audio of course, so I got to figure that out again by tomorrow Since tomorrow just to remind everybody I'm streaming Fallout 3 tomorrow in honor of the release uh, Fallout 4 on the 10th of November so I'm trying to finish Fallout 3 by the beginning of November probably the first week of November around there so yeah stay tuned for that but let's continue this small quick aftermath part and show you guys what's happening right now as you can see it doesn't look bad but again, you guys will have to watch the stream for that. I've got France by the balls, basically, right now. I've got my air units, my naval units, and my land units all engaged at once. I haven't done that in a long time, but I've finally done that against France. But I won't explain that much watch the stream <laughs> and also follow me on twitch if you haven't I'm not trying to advance too much yet not yet let's take these two villages out as well there's one garrison right there don't kill him yay all right, let's see. What the? Oh, there's an engineer right there. No wonder. So he's coming that way. All right, Sarajevo, our next major city. I also just uh, took Biograd as well back from Poland. And also, as you can see, <clears throat> oh, oh. I didn't, I didn't see that in the stream. I did see everyone saw uh, the war against Armenia and Azerbaijan. They actually went to war against, either, against each other. Japan, Andorra, a little Andorra as well. Switzerland, Thailand, and also Papua New Guinea declared a war on Armenia. Japan and Thailand are my allies. That's about it. But Armenia is trying to eliminate Azerbaijan once and for all. But they're also making a push now, which I didn't expect them to do. I just found this out right now, so I gotta do something about that. All I can do is just use my air units right now to stop them from advancing into uh, the Middle East. So I gotta do something about that. Take out their artillery. I hate the Smurf so much right now. AKA the Smurf. And also during the stream, we just made up a name for Poland. And we're calling Poland Dirty Dan. 
you have to find out why during stream. <laughs> but yes, Poland is now Dirty Dan. Damn it, Dirty Dan. Okay. More units that way. Since they're bringing more units. Oh crap, they took the fabrication bag. Whoops. I don't want that many to go. You guys take the fabrication bag. My approval rating has went up to 5%. Poland has dropped down dramatically to 15%. And France was at 100% on the stream. I'll say that much. And now have dropped down to 80% in approval rating for their military. Alright. Can't do anything else, France. I want to say this, France had probably over 400 to, to 500 units tops, while I had about between 100, no, not 100, probably around 200 units to be precise. And I had to make my last defense in the city of Sevilla. I placed a bunch of garrisons and I'm also building two more fabrications in Sevilla. Since I really need more fabrications, and I'm also starting to build more fabrications in former Morocco. As you can see, five fabrications. Because I also did uh, use a transportation ship and made them made them uh, land in Gibraltar, which belongs to the UK, from Tanger. Counter intel spy captured. We got some spies from Poland. Nice. But anyways, things are going good right now. Everything has turned better. It's a turning point again in the war for Europe. Dang it. I don't like it when they split the uh, land here. So let's just get this back together here. For the hundredth time. I'll do a, uh, well, part 47 will probably be next week for World Annexation. And then I don't know when I'm going to be streaming again for World Annexation. Probably around the end of October during Halloween, actually. Probably a Halloween special, huh? Or a birthday special. Again, my birthday is on the 1st of November. So I'll probably do it either on Halloween or on my birthday. Stream World Annexation part 48. So stay tuned for that in the near future. Tomorrow, again, Fallout 3 will be streamed on Twitch at WCNRAWG. So I hope you'll be there for that stream. Because I'll be streaming that for a very long time till Fallout 4 releases, basically. Oh, they took Biograd again. God damn it, Poland. I hate Poland more than France, just to remind you. Or just to say that I did say that in my stream but Poland is really getting on my nerves even though they have already before but I guess I'll end the aftermath part right there and um, see where the things go on from there in part 47 next week so again subscribe like and I'll see you next time well tomorrow for the stream of Fallout 3. Alright, later guys.